Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be explaining the controversial feature within iOS 9 called Wi-Fi Assist. I'm also going to be going over how it could be affecting your data usage and how you can disable it. Let's get started. So over the past little while, a lot of people have been complaining about spikes in their data usage with their iPhones. And it seems like the culprit is a new setting called Wi-Fi Assist that was released with iOS 9. Now in theory, Wi-Fi Assist is a pretty good feature because it allows you to connect while your Wi-Fi signal is a little bit weak. Now it does this by using some of your data, but in some cases, this might be a little bit too much. So for example, if you're searching for something in Google Maps or Apple Maps and you're running out the door, you're going further away from your router and your Wi-Fi connection isn't the best, it's going to take a long time to load. So by having Wi-Fi Assist enabled, it's going to tie in and use a little bit of your data to help boost that connection and get you loaded a little bit quicker. Now where this feature can become an issue is with video. For example, most of us watch Netflix or YouTube on our iPhones here and there. For example, I like to watch a couple of videos before bed on my device, but my router's pretty close to my bedroom. It's about only 20, 25 feet, so I don't really see any drops in my connection. But for some people who live in two or three story homes and the router is on say the ground floor and you're in bed on the second floor, you may lose a little bit of the signal. Now if the signal gets too low, it's going to automatically tie in to your data, which is your LTE or 3G, and it does this, it says it right here in the settings, it'll automatically do this. Now you can see if it's switched over up top on your device, but while you're watching a video, you can't really see that it's switched. And I think that's where people are getting confused. It's automatically switching, let's say between a Netflix video, videos can be between an hour, an hour and a half, two hours. And if you're going through a weak signal for a full two hour video, and it's tying in with your data, whether it's using just a little bit or maybe a little bit more, it's going to add up, and I think that's where people are seeing this big spike. Now, some people have reported eight gigabytes over their regular data usage, so that's huge, and that's a big bill at the end of the month. So what you wanna do, open up your settings application, scroll to where it says cellular, scroll all the way to the bottom, and you'll see Wi-Fi Assist. Very simple setting here, it's just an on-off toggle, turn it off, See if that's the reason why you've been burning through your data. If it is, keep that setting off or at least keep it off when you're watching videos just to ensure that you don't go over the data because those are the big culprits. Same thing if you're listening to Spotify or Apple Music or anything like that. Anything that's streaming is going to burn through a lot more data than just simply searching or using maps and things like that. So that's basically it for the Wi-Fi Assist feature. There could be other reasons why you're burning through your data, but just for the example here, Wi-Fi Assist has been a big problem for a lot of people over the last little while, so I wanted to get this out for you guys. Let me know if this helped you. Let me know if you've been noticing these spikes with Wi-Fi Assist. And obviously, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Facebook or Twitter, and I'll see you guys in the next one.